What up, YouTube? I uh, was a little lazy to trim that there, so bear with me. But how's it going, guys? We got a new update, and it's pretty freaking sweet. But we got a little YouTube love from the clan, so always got to love that. You know me. I'm the Demonata. I'm hungover as fuck, so let's get right into it. The new spells came out. Well, not new spells, but updates. We got lightning, earthquake, and poison updates. Poison turned into like a single inferno tower. It's actually pretty sweet. You'll see it in action in a few of our videos. Um, the earthquake. The first shot deals 25% of any building. And the rest is like decreasing percentage damage. Um, I don't really understand its scaling because four level ones will do... T well, they'll take out any wall. The same as a max earthquake. So I'm not sure behind that besides the initial damage. But look at this. Seven streak in a row. We just beat this Korean clan. I don't speak Korean, but look at that damage. 84.89% total damage, or average. Um, as you can see, they didn't do too well on our Town Hall 10s. We did pretty good on theirs. Not me this time. I'm not in this one. I didn't do too well, guys. I messed up my first attack, and I gave my second attack to my leader because I was busy getting drunk. Yeah. So, G-Man, our leader, he had a perfect war against two Town Hall 10s like me. Comes in with a shattered approach. It's pretty good. He's coming in. He doesn't rage the first phase one. He usually does, but I can see why in this one, because he's going to start looning really, really early. Because he wants to get those infernos, and he wants to get everything in the center as soon as possible. He even comes around, which is unorthodox, comes from the other side of the breach. You never want to split the breach. But on this one, it went pretty well, because there's not too many defenses on the south side. You have two archer towers and a cannon. So that mass of loons, and with the hound guarding it, you're okay. Like He even had a spare loon. That's just not enough to take out those loons, and... It's all clean up from here. He did a great job. He, he saved his poison spell for those Lava Pups because that new uh, update, Lava Hound doesn't attack air units, so that Lava Hound, it's no threat to loons anymore. Just the Pups are. But since the Lava Hound's not going to be following any loons or anything around, the Pups are going to target it, and then the Exploding Pups are going to target your Pups, and it's a lot safer. So let's see what else he did. He took out number 14 as well. And uh, I like the way he did his phase one on this one. So. Uh, what? So yeah. He comes in very strategic in his wizard drops. He doesn't want a single wizard to die. You can tell by that precision. Not a single wizard is being targeted. And uh, he comes in takes out that archer tower and everything moves center you don't you don't need any more than two wall breakers for this kind of base because that that jump spell opens up three three compartments for you and with that poison spell and that dragon it's not going to last long at all it'll only take a few seconds under poison and queen duress to just fucking destroy it look at that it's already gone and he's got a perfect lineup of expo uh sweeper tesla and Inferno, thank God he had enough health, and that one shot at the Inferno, but I didn't think it was a good idea to come in sweeper side heavy, because a sweeper can really fuck you up, but he did this one really well, because you really want to take out that Inferno Tower, and uh, he also got really lucky that those air skeletons targeted his Lava Hound, because usually they'll target the ha uh, loons as they pass over, and that's so bad. Air skeletons, I feel like, are some of the worst things to do. Oh, look at that. The town hall went down to loons. I love seeing that. Air skeletons are not good. Well, they are on defense, but if your loons are being chased by air skeletons and nothing's attacking them, you're almost guaranteed not to win the, the attack because they will just take out loons left and right. It's really bad. And But, yeah, he did well. He got lucky that they targeted his hound, so the pups took care of him. And clean up. Good job, G-Man. Nice job on your perfect war. So let's go to Vario. He hasn't been on our, in our wars for a while. He's been kind of MIA. But he came back, and he came back with a Queen Walk-In Town Hall 10 attack. He, uh, I was hoping he'd do his signature Mass Witch attack, but 
the dude always he always impresses. He's a brilliant attacker, and uh, I hope he stays. But he's like a he's like a loose cannon. <laughs> so he comes in. He has four, I believe, four healers on his queen right now, and he places it so that that queen will take out that army camp, and she'll have to go left because there's just too much space. The next target is closest to her left. So right after she takes out this gold mine, she's going to want to go inside, which I'm not sure why because I feel like it would be easier just to go over to the mines, but I guess it worked. He didn't have any golems. He just had a couple giants. But, uh, yeah, he's got full health level 40 queen going, and one of the infernos is already about to die in just a second, even though he saved two poisons because... I do believe this base was attacked first, so he knew that there are air skeletons, and he also knew that he... Oh, wait. I attacked this base first, and this is the one I failed on. So I I opened it up for him. So he just knew he had to bring two poisons. Look at that. He even has a haste spell left over that he didn't use. Wow. And look at all those troops. Good job, Vario. Made my attack look like a piece of shit. Jackass. So I guess I'll do... I'll do two more. I'll put Gilly in, because I've never put him in before. He got a good, he got a good three star. We'll go quick because it's just standard hogs. But um, I like how he took care of this because he took out three, I believe three out of the four big bombs before he even started hogging. Um, that poison is just tearing up dragons now. I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to affect clan castles because I, I saw some using witches and wizards now because it doesn't, it doesn't speed up as quickly, so they still have a good five or six seconds to get their attacks in before they'll just get poisoned. Um, Gilly did good with his heal spells here, because there's only an Expo and a Tesla left, but uh, he got lucky because they can still, they'll take out some hogs, but after that, it's all cleaned up. He had a full queen, so that really helps. If he, if he didn't have a queen, he might have been in a little trouble, but he also had wizards and that little mini golem, he's not doing anything down there. He's trying, though. He's really trying. He's putting in an A effort, but uh, if he had a report card, it would be an F right now. And, uh, yeah, I, that's the one I told G-Man to attack for me because I was out getting shit-faced at the bar. Eh, it happens. Um, Brutus, he did another brutality, and I, ha I have to put all these in because it is so funny. He takes eight earthquakes and just makes the most giant fucking hole you've ever seen in a base and look at that that's freaking huge and he's just gonna go in four four golems deep bunch of wizards and heroes behind it and he's got that backup 16 loons at the end and i just love how unfair it is to whoever he attacks as a town hall nine um, I guess he's just attacking late and just going to, for stars to help the clan because I've seen this guy take out max Town Hall 10s, three stars, so he's not he's not a designated Town Hall 9 hitter. He's just doing this for fun or it's just late in the war, but whatever it is, you're going to make the highlight real, buddy. Just <laughs> keep up the good wars because this is hilarious. Um, yeah, so loons take out everything. There's They'll be triggering most of the traps. So that can be dangerous, but there's just, there's too many, <laughs> and he's already won. All those troops are left. I'm surprised his heroes went down, but yeah. So that's all war, guys. We did really good. Um, thanks for watching again. We got 13 subscribers now. We I did that in just about a week. Let's see that skyrocket. Uh, we got a new war coming out. Check it out when we defeat next victim. It's a uh, Saudi Arabian clan. Um, I got a little thrown off looking at that new attacks defenses thing, so I can't.